Hello and welcome to Storytime with Mr. Ryan. Saying goodbye can be very difficult, especially if it's a close friend or somebody you've known for a very long time. But saying goodbye is a natural and inevitable part of life that everyone must learn to do someday. And learning to move on and cope is just as natural. So today we're going to learn how to move on and cope in a healthy way in Ben Says Goodbye by Sarah Ellis with illustrations by Kim Lafave. Let's hop on in. Ben and Peter watched two strong movers put Peter's world into their big truck. Box after box, box after box, Box after box. And then, not in a box, Peter's red lightning bicycle. Ben's father said, Maybe Peter can come back to visit next summer. Ben's sister Robin said, I'll show you how to talk to Peter online. Ben's brother Joe said, Want to play Sniggle Ball? Ben's mother said, it's time to say goodbye to Peter. Ben did want, not want to play Sniggle Ball. He did not want to say goodbye to Peter. Ben decided he would move too. Not across the world, not across the country, not across town. He would move under the table. He would become a cave boy. Cave boy Ben slept on furs. He ate with his fingers. He played with rocks. He protected himself with a club and a pointed stick. He tamed a lion for his only friend. Cave boy Ben did not brush his teeth or say please and thank you. He only said, Gah. He said, Gah for yes and Gah for no and Gah for go away. High on the walls of his cave, he drew with his pointed stick. He drew the story of two boys who were best friends. He drew how they flew on magic wings and beat the bad guys. He drew how they ran faster than race cars and talked silly talk and saved sad animals and fooled big kids. Cave Boy Ben drew the story of two faraway friends who each dug a hole in his backyard. They dug past dirt and rocks, roots and worms, sewer pipes and subway lines, ancient cities and buried pirate treasure. They dug until they met right at the center of the earth in the place where rocks melt. It was a good place for a barbecue. So the two boys ate chili dogs and played sniggle ball. Then they went home, each to his own side of the world. When the walls of the cave were completely covered, cave boy Ben smelled butter. He crawled out. There was a fire in the fireplace. The whole family was crowded onto the couch. Mom and Dad squished sideways and made a little cave for Ben. Comfy, said Mom. Popcorn, said Robin. Guh, said Ben. From across the street came a loud beeping sound. Ben knelt on the couch to look. A big truck was backing into the driveway. Two strong movers got out. They pushed up the back door of the truck. Box after box, box after box, box after box. And then, not in a box, a scorcher scooter in neon blue just the right size for a new friend. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching the story time with Mr. Ryan and for watching all of the story times with Mr. Ryan. I had a wonderful time reading to you, and I hope you take the story to heart. Saying goodbye is not easy, but it's an important and natural thing in life that happens to everyone, and eventually you will feel better and you will move on. So thank you, Ben, for teaching us this wonderful lesson. And I thank you for being my audience throughout this time. I hope you guys enjoyed my stories on this channel. And if you're looking for fun activities you can do from home, go ahead and check out veronalibrary.org slash children. So until next time, I'll be seeing you. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye.